Hello and welcome to another edition of the Sean Zen's Breaking News Edition. Man's probably the first of hundreds of videos done about the subject, podcast, and all that. But I wanted to get, give my two cents on it. <laughs> See what I did there? About the news that Chris Harris released from his developmental contract at NXT. Man, just after he had a tremendous match with Luke Harper yesterday on NXT, which you should watch on uh, Hulu. Fucking amazing match. He, he had all he did was have amazing match on NXT, but they wanted him to bulk up. Be more muscular, but he's a tall link. You got to hit hard. So he never worked right in NXT. I knew once those management problems were there. I thought when he bulked up and came back on TV, but once he was squashed for Luke Harper and he didn't see him for like four or five weeks, it was after having a he went up. He, he lost Luke Harper twice. So and this announced person. How I learned about it. Person announced it, that for our next show, it'll be Hurricane Helms versus Chris Hero. So that's interesting. I'm pretty sure all. Then he rushes the Drag USA, AEW, AIW, everyone is clamoring to get Chris Hero. I'm waiting for the tweet that PWG sends out saying Chris Hero is back for All Star 10. If Chris Hero isn't back for All Star 10, it, that'd be fucking unbelievable. Unless the 8th of January, but they, they're with the car. Chris Hero was the main stage of PWG for years. So, it's sad that see him lose his TNA, WWE, but sometimes it happens to happen Loki. Loki, a great wrestler, didn't work out in WWE. Coco Banner, great wrestler, didn't work out to be. Sometimes it works out with CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. Sometimes it doesn't work out. So, get to see who fits the mold with WWE. Seems, it seems to be the right time. But Chris Hero, we'll see. He goes back on Indies, see how long he goes back on Indies until he goes back to be. But I'm pretty sure you won't see him on for his back in Ring of Honor, back in Drag USA. I'm probably sure making a shitload more money than NXT. Because I've heard some things. You make, you make less, you make more money on food stamps than you do in NXT. So if you think these NXT guys are making a shitload of money, they're not. If you're on the bottom pole of NXT, you're not making a shitload of money. Think Yoshi Toss is making a shitload of money? No. They, they denied him from moving to Texas. He said, you want to move to Texas? They said, no, you just got to train here. He's 36 year old. 36 year old. He's a New Japan pro veteran. And you got he's got to train every day? It's fucking stupid. There's stuff I love about NXT. NXT is probably the best show on, best wrestling show on TV. I love watching it. Some many people, uh, we'll see how Sammy Callahan does there, and Solomon Crow, Callisto, and Slate Rand. I'll see how they do. But the big news, Chris here, at least from the TV, that's all you got to know here. And my my sources are solid. Just like El Generico signed with TV, I was right about that. I was right about my trucker leaving for, leaving for uh, signing with uh, Jersey Hollywood. So, Sean says here with the breaking news always. So hit the subscribe button, watch all my videos. And I'll try to get an interview with Chris Harrell when I can. You know I've interviewed Matt Stryker, Trent Beretta. But when you want big interviews with big time stars, you come to this channel, people. Peace.